So this is a video of a flight into Thuy Hua and this is an RNF approach which is kind of interesting because due to terrain there are a lot of uh, turns you have to make in the procedure. So you have to fly around the mountain here and then this part here there's, there's actually two different uh, track um, directions also you fly. This is not straight to the runway and, and at 500 feet you have to turn and line up with the runway. So, but that's not really the issue here. This this flight actually went correct, and I want to show a couple of uh, interesting points. Uh, you can see that the the DME of uh, VR VR one is not working, but it's not relevant in this video. Okay, so if I just go back up a bit here, um, you can see that I changed the uh, speed here. This speed here is actually not from the database and the reason is because there's an altitude constraint here and if you do the math the the aircraft wanted to be at uh, I think like 250 knots here which doesn't really work out well. There's an issue with um, the Airbus way of the way they calculate things and I think both the Honeywell and the um, tell us uh, FMS where if there's a restriction which is quite high then it will just disregard any speed of it will not slow down automatically I should say so you have to do that manually so here we are approaching 7,000 feet and let's see how we're doing on profile we're going to alt star whoops uh, we're going into alt star and uh, so here we're flying at level at uh, 7,000 feet so um, in order to see the correct distance, we have to go to 29 miles here. So now it should read 30 miles because the distance is not correct. The distance ends at the uh, one mile before the threshold. So now we're at 30 miles. So we should be at 30 times 3, 9,000 feet. Okay, now what speed are we doing? You could say 250 or green dot. Well, let, let's take green dot as a reference. So 9,000 feet, we should be at 8,000 feet. And we're at 7,000 feet. So that's good. Okay, now but we're not quite at green dot speed though, so, um, so now we are green dot, so it, it kind of works out. So we're on profile. Now if you're on profile, you always have to make sure the trust remains at idle, and you can see um, here like how I do that. Okay, so turn the corner and go to open the sand, and now I'm gonna speed up. The reason is because we're still quite far away, and if I would keep flying green dot speed, it it's gonna end up high eventually. So now I'm gonna open send speed up. And as soon as it goes into alt star, you have to reduce the speed. All right, I cleared, let me see, do that just before already, I think. Yeah, okay, so alt star, and and the speed bug is reduced to force the trusted idle. Okay. And turn the corner again. Now, we can also do a calculation here. It's at 18 miles. That should actually be 19 miles. So let's let's calculate for 20 miles to make it easy. So 20 times 3, so it's 6,000 feet. And we should fly um, 500 feet lower, so 5,500 feet. And we're at 5,000 feet, so that's good. We're on profile. But actually, where we are, uh, it's not exactly 20 miles, So, but it works out OK. So now we go to open the sand and down we go again. You can see that there's a um, speed constraint there. So that's, I did not put that in manually. That's from the database and here, this one also. So that's something you have to take into account. And there will be some issues later, which I will explain. So here we are at 15 miles. And uh, if you are at 15 miles at 4,500 feet, that means you're on the three degree path, but actually this a vertical path here is, is 3.5 degrees. So because it's 3.5 degrees, it's a bit harder to calculate for. Anyway, so let's see what happens here. So now the final approach point is, a final descent point is uh, this waypoint here. So once that active, uh, when it's that waypoint is the active waypoint, we can arm the approach. So that's done. It goes straight into final app. 
And if it goes into final app, you have to make sure that the speed bug is not higher than the actual speed because that will add, make it add trust. So but that's not the case here. Okay, now you will see that it will fly a level segment and that's not exactly an efficient way to do that. But because this vertical path here is 3.5 degrees, it it is actually better in this case just to do it the easy way and and you save fuel for some other approach because uh, it just makes it complicated and workload is also an important factor we have to consider so now we select flap 2 why because of this speed constraint here so already it will be difficult to fly like a perfect approach fuel wise because we have to slow down here so we have to select flap 2 and um yeah flap 2 is drag so regardless it will be hard to um, keep the trusted idle uh, for as much as we can okay so now um you will see that there's an altitude constraint there it will automatically level off because it's in final app mode so here it goes it so now it flies level and the speed goes all the way down and of course there goes the trust goes up well, there's not much we can do about that like if we would do this selected, and again, because it's three and a half degrees, you cannot look at the VDEF. That will not be, you know, if you fly like an idle descent path here, then you'll be way above the VDEF. And it will be just very difficult to know um, if you're not too high or not, because you can't really calculate for that either. Um, okay, so now we go here. It starts to descend again. One thing you always have to check is if there's the blue arrow if it's in final app, otherwise it won't descend. But there is here. It's a bit hard to see. It looks like it's white, but it's actually blue. So down it goes, and um, and you can see that there's uh, another turn here to the left, but also here we have to turn even more to the left. Now this particular approach, and once you are in a f uh, this is a four mile ring here. Once you're within four miles, you could just, if you're visual, just align the aircraft with the runway because you're in a safe zone. Mm, but in this case, I just wanted to see if it's if we just can go down to the minima and then still make that turn, and it works out well. It's a little bit sporty, but uh, it works well, as you can see here. But of course, you can't, you know, see what's happening outside because at this moment you wouldn't look. We'll not be looking inside, but just to show how that looks on the video here. So here we turn final. It's only uh, a little bit bank angle, it's not that much. And uh, landing. So that was it. I hope you learned something for, from it and see you next time. If you like this video, please consider buying my book, Practical Descent Energy Management. It has a lot of examples, a lot of pictures, and it will be very useful for your line training, line preparation, or even if you're already experienced to improve your descent profile performance. I have also another book, Practical Airline Radio Telephony, and this is more for the beginners, uh, all the ins and outs of radio telephony, again with a lot of examples. All my books are also available on Amazon Kindle, so you can have it as a digital copy. Thank you.